today we're going to be talking about Oracle as an enterprise. My name is Yara Abuhudra and with me today is... Sohail Asif, Erdo Dramovich. So Sohail, can you tell us a bit about Oracle? Sure. Uh, Oracle was founded in 1977 by Larry Allison in, in Silicon Valley. Uh, currently, they're the second largest software company right behind Microsoft in the entire world. Uh, they're prim primarily positioned within the enterprise uh, software. For example, the biggest offering is the uh, Oracle database software, which which uh, analyzes and consolidates uh, companies' data. Mm -hmm. They also do a bunch of other things. So they do consulting for other companies. They consult them on their database, uh, their databases, and their uh, information systems, which is something that we have to take into regard since it is sensitive information. Um, Erdogan, can you tell us about their financial models? Yeah, so uh, Oracle's financial model is directly relevant to the economic environment in which they practice in. It's particularly feasible because of the geographic presence they have in Silicon Valley and how close they are to uh, great institutions like Stanford University or Cal Berkeley. And we also found that the demographics and the high rate of education and literacy in the U.S. market was uh, very relevant to their business model and how they're uh, growing and expanding as a business. We found that there's numerous financial risks involved with Oracle, particularly in terms of their auditing and their financial statements, especially in such a competitive uh, environment in terms of tech, such as like Microsoft and Apple and Google. That was a good point. Also, uh, Oracle is known to keep data for, for pretty much all the companies in the entire world. They yeah. cater to about 95 uh, of the top Fortune 100 companies. And any leak in the databases could result in uh, and a large data leak for all for a lot of those companies. That can really mess up the company. You're right. right. It can really help the competitors gain an advantage with yeah. the leak data. Um, another thing to consider is that they do cloud computing for a lot of their data, which is a huge risk. Uh, there is cloud computing has been known to not be the safest kind of uh, platform to use, um, even because what. Cloud computing is is basically it's a, a, a nobody really knows where it, it is located. It's just up there. Um, that's kind of the reason where, why they call it the cloud, and all the information is stored on it. Um, so I know Oracle has been using containerization uh, to kind of help keep the information safe or a little bit more safe. And container, it, what containerization basically does is it sets the databases into different containers or boxes, you can say. Um, which I think it's good because if somebody were to hack the company, they can't really access every single part that the company, uh, all the information that the company has. You're right, it mitigates the risk. It yeah. disperses the data into several different carpet, car it carpentalizes the data yeah. in different segments. So even if there's a leak in one, it doesn't compromise the entire uh, the entire foundation of the system with data. Yeah, it reduces vulnerability essentially, especially in terms of their competitors. Like You're right, threat risk vulnerability really helps to mitigate those different uh, risk factors. Um, okay, uh, talk about the cloud computing first. So, um, in January or February 2016, we saw that uh, Oracle's cloud, cloud computing software is directly related to their fall in their stock price. This is particularly due to their competitors undercutting them in terms of their offerings. Mm -hmm. And uh, supposedly Oracle's uh, cloud computing software wasn't as secure as, let's say, Microsoft's. Azure, or, yeah, Azure, which is, Azure, yeah. which is Microsoft's, and there, there mm -hmm. is also the one offered by Amazon. Yeah, so this is directly led to the fall in the stock price. And, it sort of hindered their business practices. Yeah, because the security measures for that weren't the best. Um, uh, which ties in directly to the whole competitor intelligence issue. If their cloud computing data systems aren't secure, it could result in the leak of data for uh, different companies, which, com which could compromise the, uh, their operations. Uh, moreover, uh, Google has been, uh, has been accused of copying Oracle's uh, proprietary data in their software program systems which is known as the Sun, Micro, Sun Microsystems. Uh, they're accused of stealing their uh, copyright infringements uh, by using by utilizing Oracle's uh, JavaScripts in their Android platforms. And that caused a lot of, a 
a lot of issues within the, uh, the markets. I find it really interesting because Google is such a large company that you wouldn't expect them to do that. They're a company that's known for being innovative, for coming up with different solutions. I wouldn't expect them to actually go and take somebody or some other company's information and utilize it. You're right, it shows that no matter how big the company is, they can still benefit from uh, competitor intelligence. As we've seen in Google, uh, they uh, utilize the, uh, the JavaScripts in their Android systems, uh, which has helped them become really successful by uh, capturing a large portion of the Android cell phone market. You know what I find interesting is uh, Oracle's process of authentication. What they do is they have three different processes and one is the remote authentication, third party authentication, and then there's the public key infrastructure authentication. So these th three different ty types of uh, authentication, I feel like I've been saying that a lot, is it, it allows access to servers from different organizations to it. So if, as you mentioned before, like they keep a lot of companies' information in their databases. So what, for these individuals to access their information and to ensure the fact that the information is secure, they have to go through this process of authentication to ensure that it is, um, they are the right people, like the, the, the company is not being hacked. Yeah. Um, it's interesting because it kind of mitigates or uh, minimizes the problem of hacking or, or like data information. Or leaks in data, right? Yeah. So I find that interesting because when I talk to the, per, uh, the Deloitte individual who consulted Oracle on their systems, they told me that the, the huge issue is that um, people use social engineering to access and hack companies. They don't even go through <laughs> like the system, the actual technological system. They go call different people, they get a little bit of information from each individual and use that information basically to gain access to the system. You're right, and no matter how secure the system is technologically speaking, it can still be undermined by uh, the social aspect of everything. Okay, Oracle is a multinational company. It operates in 145 different companies. Today, it is very important for companies to understand cultures and traditions when they operate at such a global scope. More importantly, Oracle also tries to, uh, to employ people from different diversities, uh, races, uh, age groups, and economic classes and political beliefs. This allows them to have a more um, wide knowledge and different viewpoints. Or in addition to this, Oracle has a diversity program that gives people um, the up from different uh, walks of different walks of life the opportunity to work at a uh, at a technology company and get the exposure that they are. Lastly, the technological environment is one of the most influential environments for a company like Oracle. Techno technology is continuously evolving and changing. Therefore, Oracle has to keep up with the trends. One of the latest technologies that Oracle has is the cloud surface service. It is one of the most uh, integrated uh, public cloud. However, it's uh, uh, Oracle suffers from Offer, suffers from competition by big firms such as Microsoft and Amazon. Therefore, it is important for Oracle to innovate new products. Last, uh, the competition that currently exists also has um, partnerships with big companies that, and it is important for Oracle to win these customers over in order to increase their market share. This assignment I talked about security risk and how Oracle being database developer had to face some challenges to to information security risks. Security risks are made up of three main components. Threats, vulnerability, and cost. Cost being the most important factor involves the amount of time and resources IT staff has to invest in case of a threat actually happens. One of the Oracle's micro breach was an example of security risk, which Oracle's micro breaches is an example of a cyber security risk faced by the company. A cyber uh, criminal gang with was able to breach 700 computers, uh, computer systems at Oracle and was able to steal up to $1 billion from banks and other financial institutions.